Ready? Get set. Snow. Malamig ba sa labas? Bibisitahin natin ngayon ang Prisoner Museum ng Hokkaido. Tara. Nagyayelo ang paligid. <laughs> Tama nga. Mangtani. Tama. Hindi naman halata. Welcome to the winter wonderland of Japan, Hokkaido. Maliban sa skiing at snowboarding, let's experience snow in a more exciting way. Kakaibang trekking ang gagawin natin ngayon. And if it's cold outside, let's get warm and cozy inside. Para siyang beanbag. This is not a simple room. Kasha ng buong pamilya ko dito. Malamig at magandang tanawin. Not only they have, uh, you know, beautiful setting during winter, come autumn, come spring, it's a totally different Japan adventure if you come here. Sabayan natin ang masarap na pagkain. Hey! You have the option to eat what the current prisoners eat. Sa episode na to, lilibutin natin ang silang bahagang isla ng Hokkaido, Japan. Guard! Guard! Hey, oh. 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 Sama kayo si Biego? Sa mga huling araw ng Nobyembre, nagsisimula ang unting-unting pagbagsak ng snow sa mga matataas at hilagang parte ng Japan. Late January na nang makarating kami sa isla ng Hokkaido, kaya makapal na ang yelo. Mula Manila, humigit kumulang limang oras ang biyahe papuntang Haneda Airport sa Tokyo. At mula naman doon, ay halos dalawang oras muli ang biyahe sa aeroplano para marating ang Hokkaido. Ang una naming binisita, ang bayan ng Abashiri. Mula rito, marami nang magagawa at pupuntahan. Isang coastal city ang Abashiri sa bandang hilaga ng Hokkaido. At isa ito sa mga lugar na dinarayo ng mga taong gusto makita ang isang espesyal na natural phenomenon. Ang pagdating ng drift ice o ng mga tipak-tipak na yelo na lumulutang sa dagat. Pero hindi na kailangan lumapit pa sa dagat para masaksihan to. Salamat sa Ryu Hyokan Drift Ice Museum. Hi. Hi, Andrew. Hello, hello, hello. hello. Nice to meet you. Hi. I'll take you to the tour, okay? Okay. So for this season, it all starts at the mouth of River Amur. In Russia? Russia, right. Nagmumula ang mga tipak-tipak na yelong ito mula sa Amur River sa boundary ng China at Russia. At tuwing huling bahagi ng January or early February, inaalo dito papunta sa mga dalampasigan ng Abashiri. But also the temperature rises so the ice starts to melt. melt. So it melts and at the same time push back. And it disappears by June. So it's a six-month cycle. Okay. Kadalasan daw na nagtatagal ito mula sa isang linggo hanggang ilang buwan bago muling hipan ng hangin papaleo. Kasabay ng pagdating ng drift ice, iba't ibang sea creatures din ang dala nito. Fish, this is just a baby, but when it gets That's big, baby? Like, yeah, it becomes like that. <laughs> At makikita rin ang ilan sa kanila rito sa museum, tulad ng mga cute na cute na sea angels na to. Dito tayo ngayon sa loob ng parang uh, simulated na drift ice. Pagpapasok ka dito, it's already around, their average temperature will be around 15 degrees. Um, before you go in, mabibigay sila sa'yo ng medyo damp towel. Um, pagpasok niya dito, you just have to whirl it around mga around 30 times daw and it's gonna be a bit, it's, it's gonna harden. That's what they said. So, let me try it out. Try it. <laughs> 
Tama nga. Mang Tani, tama. I believe. Tama nga. <laughs> Tumigas nga talaga. Look at that. Oh my God. Ito yung mga tunay na drift ice from last year. Uh, Kaya pa serve lang nila with this type of temperature so it won't melt. Um, the ice is, katulad na sinabi ng tour guide natin, the ice is very dry. Which means, parang plastic lang siya. Hindi siya masyadong, hindi ka mababasa. Ito, distinct din yung kanyang sound. And of course, you get to listen to the birds. Yung mga different animals na uh, nag-thrive kapag may drift ice situation. Ito si Foxy. <laughs> And uh, sobrang lamig na hindi siya gumagalaw. So, uh, Fetch. <laughs> okay. Sa Roof Tech ng Drift Ice Museum, makikita ang 360-degree view ng Abashiri at ang dagat ng Okotsuku. Sa aking kanan, makikita niyo po yung uh, Abashiri Lake na medyo snow na. <laughs> uh, I think uh, during this time of the season, which is winter, um, masalam dyan mag-ano, mag-fishing. Pero yung nakikita niyo dito ngayon, that's actually up north. I'm pointing to the direction of Russia. Kung saan nanggagaling yung drift ice. Now, um, right now, it's at the end of Jan. Usually talaga, they expect the drift ice to come here sa shores ng eastern Hokkaido, end of Jan. But probably it's gonna take another week. So probably first week of Feb. The shores will be lined up or will be accumulated with uh, drift ice. It's funny, we, we, we talk about drift ice and, and, and I think because of social media and probably nearly a decade now, we talk about global warming. Um, we people are never sure, um, you know, the schedule of the arrival of drift ice. I think uh, because of global warming as well, nagiging uh, konti na yung drift ice. I think last year uh, or two years ago, naging konting drift ice. Pero last year, bumaba ng, ay tumaas ng temperature by one. Uh, and then they expect yata after like mga 30 years, uh, makawala na ng drift ice here. So, um, if you get the chance to visit Eastern Hokkaido as soon as possible, hey, by all means, please do so because not only they have, uh, you know, beautiful setting during winter, come autumn, come spring, it's a totally different uh, Japan adventure if you come here. Siyempre, merong souvenir shop sa Babano Museum. Pero ang standout sa akin ay ang kanilang masarap na salted caramel ice cream. Oh, Bieros, kahit malamig, ice cream for ice cream! <laughs> caramel ice cream with salt toppings. Nagaling sa sea of ox salt. Remember last year or two years ago, before yung salted egg era dumating sa different restaurants and food stalls ng Manila, salted caramel yung sumikat. Ito, salted caramel pa rin sila. But it's good. Tataba talaga ako dito sa Japan. Sa ating pagbabalik, mag-tracking tayo sa yelo. isang magical reward ang naghihintay sa dulo. At kung fresh tempura ang hanap mo, wala nang mas fresh pa rito. Oh. Mm. Fresh! <laughs> It's like it was just caught a few minutes ago. Tama kayo sa biyay ko? Tama kayo sa biyay ko? sa 
ating mga namumuhay sa tropical countries, it's always a magical experience kapag nakakita o nakakahawak ng snow, hindi ba? Lalo na kapag nararating na natin ang mga lugar na magaganda at kakaiba. Mga lugar na ipinagmamalaki ng Japan National Tourism Organization. Morning! Uy, sakto! Mag-check out na ako dito sa kwarto namin sa Abashiri. Pero bago niyan, pakita ko muna sa inyo ang aming kwarto. Now, kung makikita niyo, papasok dito, feeling ko matangkad ako dahil kita mo yung door frame. Parang hindi masyadong mataas. Why? Because a few years back, hindi sila ganun ka-open sa mga western tourists or sa mga turista na hindi Asian size. Kaya parang fit lang talaga for Asian tourists. Anyway, come, come inside, come inside. As uh, probably as uh, any Japanese uh, craftsmanship or hotel, it's not the biggest, it's just what you need. Everything has a purpose. Anyway, you've got uh, two uh, beds. Dito ako na... Dito ako na higa. Pero ang medyo uh, konting... Paano ba ito? Hindi mo na weirduhan, pero naibahan uh, compared to sa mga pillows na na-experience na natin sa mga hotel rooms. Para siyang beanbag. Mm. At maliit lang siya. Ah, uh, yeah, chairs. Of course, you have your... View and it's white. Merry Christmas. Bathroom. Classic Japanese bathroom. Very intimate. <laughs> when I say intimate, medyo malit siya. Pero sakto eh. Kaya kaya mo naman gumalaw kahit na basketball player ka pa dito. Ako naman ang basketball. Ako. Anyway, um, <clears throat> as usual. Bibigay sila ng lahat ng toiletries for free. Ito na nakakatawa. Kuminsan kasi nagdadala pa ako ng facial soap everywhere I go. Pero sila may face soap. Usually kasi, they just provide, you know, three-in-one shampoo. Tapos nun may, may bath soap or liquid soap. Importante yung sabihin dito ay malakas ng tubig nila. By the way, dahil nandito tayo ngayon sa Hokkaido region, yung tubig nila ay potable. So, pwede nyo inumin to. No problem. There you have it. <laughs> oh, so you save it. Oh, tama. Gabi. Buti na lang mga 5-11 ako kasi pag mga 6-2 ako, tatama na ako sa door. Iyo ko lang ako. <clears throat> Isa sa pinakasimpleng paraan para ma-enjoy ang snow ay ang maglakad-lakad lang sa labas. Pero para mas exciting, i-level up na natin. Ano, let's go ice trekking! <laughs> Ay, ito mga pinero, kakaibang trekking gagawin natin ngayon. Kung gaano kalalim yung uh, snow, it's actually 30 uh, centimeters deep. Um, kaya kailangan tayo gumamit ng snowshoes para makalagat. Kung hindi, medyo lulubog lang tayo. Anyway, I think it's gonna be like a 30 minute no walk going to the fall so let's go the best time to do this activity is from january to march dahil ito raw ang panahon na siguradong may snowfall kaya kung balak niyong bumisita at gawin ito ay pagplanuhin ito ng maaga ayon sa aming guide Along the trek, makikita ang mga bakas ng iba't ibang hayop tulad ng usa o deer, foxes at iba pa. Kaya keep your eyes focused on the trek, mga biheros. Matapos ang 30 minuto ng paglalakad sa bundok na nabalutan ng snow, narating na natin ang dalampasigan. White sand bugs in your ceviche. <laughs> okay, white snow. <sighs> May help to fish dito. Yeah. 
Oh. Ilang hakbang na lang at mararating na natin ang ating ultimate destination. A frozen waterfall sa tabi ng dagat. Woo! Perfect to let it go! Yan! Next break ko! From Maragasang Waterfalls! <laughs> Ang kapalang medyo winter time ngayon. Tapos lahat ng uh, uh, body of water ay frozen. Except from Rain Beach. But anyway, yep, tingin pinuntahan tayo natin. After a 30-minute trek, wasn't very easy dahil nga malamig yung klima. Sakit sa kamay. Parang kailangan mo ng tatlong gloves yata. But you know what? It's always an adventure. It's always worth it. Whatever pain that you have to go through, whatever inconvenience you have to go through just to see something new. Diba? It's all worth it. Frozen waterfall. <laughs> Check. <laughs> Ayos. Langin na sa dagat. Matapos nito, diretso naman tayo sa isang frozen lake, ang Abashiri Lake, para mamingwit ng isda. So, nandito tayo ngayon sa Abashiri Lake. Yung uh, thickness ng uh, snow ay 50 cm. So, okay. Talon-talon ka. Huwag lang. <laughs> Hindi, pero okay naman. Safe tayo. Anyway, next activity gagawin natin ay fishing. Ginawa na natin to actually sa Japan din. But come on, it's always nice to fish the lake. Lalo na kapag ito. Lahat ng kailangan mo para sa smelt fishing ay provided ng tour operator. Mula sa fishing line, drill at upuan, hanggang sa lutuan at inumin. Kaya wala ka nang gagawin pa kundi ang pumunta dito at i-enjoy ang experience ito. Oh. <laughs> Who wants to go to the casino with me? <laughs> During summer daw, itong mga isda na to ay pumupunta sa dagat dahil konektado ang lake na to sa dagat. Uh, during winter naman, pumupunta sila dito. And they thrive here. There you go. Good job. Man, so easy to fish here. At, paano na rin niluto to? Tempura, pwede lang i-grill, pwede lang uh, i-steam. Kalawala. You eat the sashimi? No, no. No, it's hard, huh? Don't recommend? Like one... <laughs> Nakatapos lang namin magluto ng... Tempura, just like a few minutes of deep frying. Nilabag na sa amin dito, tapos na nag-serve sila ng onion soup. Cheers, cheers, cheers. 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 Wow. cheers. Thank you so much, thank you, thank you so much. Mm. Wow, I can feel my lips now. <laughs> it's so cold. Okay, so how do you eat the tempura? Mm? Oh, okay. Salt. Salt? Okay. Mm. Fresh! <laughs> it's like it was just caught a few minutes ago. Mm. Mm. How often do you fish? Uh, almost every day. Almost every day. If it's not winter here, mm -hmm. if it's summer here in the lake, uh, what do people do? Uh, we, mm -hmm. we guide another uh, trail. Tre by trekking. Tre uh, trekking. trekking uh. Yes, and by the watching. Do you also hunt? No. No, <laughs> no, no, hunt. no. Just looking. Just looking, yeah, just yeah, looking. Yeah. Oh, just okay, watching. okay. Okay, wow. <laughs> so this is a normal thing for local folks. Uh, yes. Fishing and Fishing, trekking. Yes. Oh, nice. Very nice. Thank you so much. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Oishi! Oishi! Matapos ang mainit na pagkain sa ibabaw ng frozen lake, masarap na grilled food naman ang subukan natin. Salad! 
Isipin nyo nilang parang uh, yung beef. Specifically yung beef, parang uh, cut ng rib ay So parang pag beef kasi, di ba, parang kahit mabilis lang yung pagkaluto mo. Kahit medyo pinkish pa, medyo, medyo medium, yun yung pagluto ng steak mo. Yun yung style na dito. It's a beef ten tender, very juicy, it's very tasty. Siyempre, pagdating sa pork, kailangan mas maluto mo pa. Yun yung ginagawa natin dito sa bacon. But anyway, you have a selection of different meats, different cuts. You got your beef, you got your pork, you got your lamb, you've got your chicken, you've got your intestines of pork. Meron ka ditong lengua, uh, cow's tongue, meron ka ditong bacon. And of course, you have your kimchi, your salad. It works. When we return, isang mahaba-habang biyahe ang susuungin natin, biyaheros. Pero believe me, it's going to be super worth it. Tama kayo sa biyay ko? Biyahe ni Drew would like to think. Tama kayo sa biyay ko? Alam niyo mga biyero, um, relatively young ang Hokkaido. Uh, they're about to celebrate 150 years of existence this year pa lang. No? And uh, malaking role ang ginampanan ng mga prisoners ng early years of Hokkaido. That's why may bisitahin natin niya at may experience natin fully ang Prisoner Museum ng Hokkaido. Tara! To so, ask for this Abashiri Prison Museum Guide Map, uh, hindi ito yung original location ng, uh, ng mga kulungan dito. Uh, actually, specifically 25 buildings ng Abashira, Abashiri Prison Museum have been relocated. So these are the original buildings, but they just, they were relocated lang a few years back. They were built uh, major late in the 1800s, nine early 1900s. And uh, I think the first place that we're gonna go to ay yung museum na. Para malaman natin kung paano po umuhay nila back then. 1985 daw nang buksan sa publiko ang Prison Museum. At walo sa mga building dito ay itinuturi na nationally important cultural properties. Bukod sa mga lumang istruktura, makikita at mapapasok din dito ang mga modernong jail cell. So I think current uh, prison cell uh, dito sa Hokkaido or sa Japan See, it fits six prisoners. Tatlo dito, tatlo dyan. Malinis yung kwarto. Meron silang TV. Meron silang bookshelf. I think a little face in. I think a little CR. Parang siya. Parang hiya na mahirap maging prisoner dito sa Japan. Uh, of course, I'm comparing our uh, jail at home. Yeah, yun yung unang papasok sa isipan mo. Jail cell na to. Stay, sobrang linis. Classic Japan. Importante ang ginampanan ng mga preso sa Abashiri Prison noon dahil sila ang mga laborer ng gobyerno sa paggawa ng mga kalsada at iba pang istruktura sa iba't ibang lugar sa buong Hokkaido. Ito yung uh, dating uh, setups ng mga outfit ng mga Japanese prisoners noon. And dito sa Prisoner Museum, pwede ka rin maging prisoner. So, kailangan ang... Orange, orange din pala yung kulay. Para high vis. Okay. Ginagamit nila ito kapag ari sila, pagdala sa farm, kung farming sila, or 
and the ball is actually five kilos heavy, which is not very heavy. Okay, it's heavy. So, is a guard. Makikita niya. Limang arms. Oh, limang ganyan. Limang hallways yan puno puno ng mga jail cells. Now, uh, not only was it an efficient way to check out an overview on oversee lahat ng jail cells, it's also very hygienic. Why? Because it's five arms. Kasi nun, balanced yung pagpasok ng sunlight. Yung nga lang, wala silang heaters. So yung sunlight, yung init galing sa sunlight, parang would not suffice. <laughs> Ang lamig pa rin. Sa maliliit na jail cells nito, ikinulong ang mga kriminal ng Japan noong early 1900s. Mula rito, binigyan sila ng mga iba't ibang pagkakaabalahan tulad ng paggawa ng papel, mga envelope, at iba pa. Guard! Guard! May gusto yung atang tumakas dito sa taas. Matapos ang tour, pwede naman kumain sa isang maliit na canteen sa labas ng prison museum. Okay, I want to be able to uh, complete uh, the prisoner experience dito sa Abashiri uh, Prison Museum. You have the option to eat what the current prisoners eat. You have your rice, which looks like 100% rice. It's actually 70% rice, 30% barley, American tofu, American type of vegetable, American miso soup, pang painit, important yan. Oh my God, hindi ko naman yung kamay ko. At yung kanilang protina ay mackerel. Nagutom <sighs> na ako, oh. pero gusto ko lang muna magpainit. Oh my God, init. Tapos na pamamasyal sa iba't frozen and snowy locations, napakasarap siyempre na umuwi sa isang warm and cozy room. Hi. Tama-tama kayo dahil nagulat kami pagpasok namin sa kwarto namin, no? Uh, kaya nag-research kagad ako sa aking internet or sa aking phone tungkol sa hotel na to. Pasensya na dahil gabi na kami nakarating, usually pagod na kami, gusto lang namin pumasok sa kahit anong hotel room para magpahinga. Lo and behold, boom! 
this is very uncharacteristic of Japanese hotels because you know when you say Japanese hotel it's it's just really cute petite niba small fine small very simple eto boom pagpasok mo pa lang there's a room within a room pero bago tayo pumasok sa kwarto puntahan muna natin yung CR see it's the old Japanese tatami style. Alam mo yun? Look, look, look at the matting. That's tatami. Love it. Pero syempre, medyo ano na, may fusion na ng modern. Which I dig. I always appreciate modern vintage. Kahit sa motorcyclo. <laughs> anyway, shower, modern, bathtub. Love it. Huh? The King's Throne. Pasok tayo dito. This is not a simple room. Kasha ng buong pamilya ko dito. Kahit kasama yung mother-in-law ko. <laughs> anyway, um... Itsura pa lang niya, alam mo ng mahal. So I'm guessing it's pricey. You have your mood sounds pa coming from... Uh, our sound system here um, and because this is a hotel that emphasizes on onsen yung mga pools mga hot pools meron yata silang tatlong hot pool may one cold pool so they have like baskets with uh, your towels because you have to bring your own towels by the way if you have to go down the onsen see you have this pa the rocking chair huh this huge tv flat screen Mukhang hindi naman totoo, pero gumagana yan. Siguro na bonfire. Um, of course, this is the ocean view. Hindi nyo nakikita dahil madilim pa. Um, meron kang sariling sofa. That's it. Ayoko na umalis sa kwarto ko. Pero ikaw, relax mo na. Ayaw mo ah, kakain kami. <laughs> no, pala, kakain din nga pala tayo. Kakain kami. Muna akong iwan. Kain na tayo. <laughs> Okay, fine. Sige, kakain na ako. Kalimutan ko nga. Wait lang! Wait lang! Uy! Meron din silang mas luxurious na suite na may sariling onsen o open-air hot bath. Hanep! Sa labi ng hotel, sa halip na usual souvenir shops, meron silang craft shops At may tinitin na rin silang fresh kelp o seaweed na hihimayin mismo sa harap mo. Good morning mga Biero. Medyo mahaba ang araw natin ngayon. Hindi dahil marami tayong gagawin, kundi medyo mahaba yung ating traveling time. Nagaling tayo ngayon sa Shirotoko. Uh, at usual drive time papuntang... Uh, Shikaoi ay around 4 hours but because of the weather uh, medyo are, we're gonna take the longer route it's gonna take us 6 hours and okay lang naman dahil magiging sulit ang biyahe dahil it's our first time to try out dog sledding so relax lang tayo at uh, if ever you're gonna do this trip sometimes you just really have to be patient when it comes to travel time kasi isipin mo quality over quantity pagdating sa mga locations. Alright? So, tulog muna ako. After about six hours of driving in the snow, we finally arrive at Shikaoi. Let's do this! Let's get the dogs out! Uh, you're doing a dog sledding first time today. First time? Yeah. That's why we're so excited. 
Why is it just here or there are other uh, dog sleds? Uh, no. That's dog sled activities uh, around Hokkaido. We have uh, three or four dog sledding tour company in Hokkaido. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But uh, this area, the, this is only one. This area is called the Tokachi area. Mm -hmm. So we don't much uh, snow uh, than like uh, Niseko or uh, the, the Sapporo. Sapporo. Mm -hmm. So the but the temperature is very cold. Right. So it's easy to keep uh, make the dog sledding trail and the dogs uh, can run powerfully in cold temperature now if it's a warm temperature dog gets tired soon when you say warm temperature what's what temperature uh, is that because yeah. our warm temperature <laughs> is 40 degrees yeah today maybe the minus uh, Five or six degree. Is that okay? Uh, a little bit warm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, what yeah. is the uh, more appropriate temperature for the dogs? Uh, below the minus ten degree. Below minus. 10 yeah. <laughs> that's 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 when they can push. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is there a, a particular breed of dog for dog sledding? Uh -huh, yeah, so the, many people imagine the dog sled dog is uh, like a Siberian Husky. Yes, yes. Alaska Marmute. You see it in the movies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, even the winter Hokkaido, if the pure breed Siberian Husky run the running the pulling the sled, mm -hmm. uh, they feel very hot. Very hot. Yeah, yeah. they can run comfortably. I mean, let's see the below the minus 12, uh, 20, uh, minus 30. Right, wow. <laughs> yeah, it's like uh, Alaska and the Norwegian country, Arctic world yes, area. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. okay. So so that's why the, I breed, the, the, I use the mixed breed, the husky with a pointer, mm -hmm. the husky with a greyhound. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the, they don't have a, the thick coat, but uh, they can run the They're comfort okay. breed uh, in the, a uh, little bit warm temperature, uh, like today. Like today. Mm -hmm. Now that we have 28 dogs, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so the, each dog one? has a name. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, they are very friendly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, what, what's his? What's her name? What's uh, his, his? His or her name? Yeah, he's uh, he's Axel. Uh, Axel. Uh, Axel. Axel. Mm -hmm. Does it have to be all males? No. Ah uh, no, dogs, no. Uh, we use a male and a female. Female as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, all so, right. Yeah. Is there one is uh, superior to the other, or you know, stronger than the other, or it depends? Ah uh, no, I concentrate the uh, let's see the character, the character. They're friendly, yes, yes. no get fight. <laughs> right. Okay, you consider the yeah. the relationship between all those. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. That's good. Okay, let me tell you how to control and drive okay. the dog sled, okay? The, our trail is about uh, 20, 12 kilometers long. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the, there are many corners, the right and left, yes. and the downward and wow. the upward. Okay, okay. So you have to take the balance, okay? Like, okay. A, like a skiing. Like a ski, okay. Mm -hmm. Lean, not only your head, okay? So yeah, sled body. and body lean inside. Oh, okay. So you turn easily. Easy, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, and if you scale, oh, speed is very fast. You just step on the brake, mm -hmm. so you can slow down, and you stop, uh, you step on the strongly, that you can stop. Uh, okay. mm -hmm. On the way, I show the, uh, sometimes I show this sign. This means stop. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the, you stop the uh, step on the brake strongly and you stop. Okay. Okay. So I was wondering why why the other dogs are so scared. They are not scared. They are just like when excited. They are like, "Right, I'm going to get a little bit of a scare." That's it. They are like that. After that, the other dogs are not scared. They are not scared. They are just scared. <laughs> Ang dog sledding ay isang traditional form of transport sa mga snow-covered areas ng Hokkaido simula pa noong 1900s. Ginagamit daw ito sa pagkakarga ng mga gamit, paghahatid ng sulat at iba pa. May git 30,000 yen o 15,000 pesos ang presyo ng dog sledding tour. Good for two persons ito at halos isang oras na kayong mag-iikot sa snow-covered areas this side of Hokkaido.
right, uh, probably the best 30 minutes of my uh, winter career. Uh, um, you know, I've heard so many stories from my friends uh, who went to Canada and tried dog sighting. Some of wow, it's surreal. Um, but here we are, it's a Japan, specifically Hokkaido, which is nearer, you know, of course, if it's nearer uh, in the Philippines, it's cheaper, it's more affordable. But uh, the experience here was, was uh, fantastic. Um, being pulled by the dogs, right? Parang, you know, syempre, ang inisip natin pag si, si Bantay o si Aso, yung mga pets natin sa bahay, hindi yung, <laughs> hindi yung magpupull sa atin, no? Uh, gamit, gamit ang sled, but, yeah, and then, pag makikita mo yung attitude nila, yung excitement nila, na gusto nilang tumakbo lang, galing. Um, kapag nakahinto sila, parang, alam ko, ano ba naman yan? Let's go, let's go! Alam mo yan, parang mga bunch of uh, uh, teenagers who who want to play basketball, pero basa yung court, alam mo yung gano'n. Parang gusto nilang punasan yung court, tapos gusto nilang maglaro ng basketball. That's pretty much, yeah, that's probably how I encapsulate their excitement. Man, it's definitely worth it. Like what I said, I guess parang this is gonna be the highlight of your Eastern Hokkaido trip. That's for me. Great dogs. Good job, dogs. Ang pagbiyahe sa Japan ay palaging isang natatanging karanasan dahil sa kanilang kultura. Ang gagandang tanawin. At syempre, mas sarap na pagkain. Lalo na kung samahan mo pa ng malamig na klima at snow, pati na ang mga bagay na dito mo lang magagawa. Nako, siguradong di mo malilimutan ang mga karanasang iyong may uuwi sa Pilipinas. Sama kayo sa biyay ko? 